Are you ready for some more MMA action? Well, our next bout is for the Extreme Cage Rentals Lightweight Championship. Our first fighter is joining us from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Derek Laffer. Chicka Chicka Slim She, uh, Derek Laffer. Training for this fight is top notch. Prediction for this fight is the same prediction I have for all my fights. I'm going to win and I'm going to do whatever it takes to do that. To my fans, I gotta say thank you to everyone that supported me and helped me through this. Um, you know, cutting weights never easy for anyone. Uh, traveling sucks. Um, training sucks. You know, so I gotta say thanks to you know all my, my sponsors back at home. You know, sponsors. You know, in different states and different areas. Like I say, thanks to my girlfriend because I can be a dick when I'm cutting weight and even when I'm not. And so uh, you know, I gotta say thanks to my teammates. You know, because just as much as I stay on top of them, they stay on top of me and make sure that we're all ready to get you know get after this fight. And, out the W, so thanks to everyone that had anything to do with this. Making his way to the cage now, Derek the Cedar Rapids Cycle Lofter. Currently holds three belts and looking for his floor tonight. This guy's no joke. He definitely uh, has what it takes to earn the title shot. He's got three belts from other organizations in the area. Yeah, with over 15 amateur fights, he and 15 amateur fights, three belts. He's going in knowing he knows the cage. He knows what to do. Uh, he's very hungry for a fourth belt. When you've got that many belts, you just want to keep piling them on and piling them on. And you know you're very hungry. So he, he's coming out to get that fourth belt tonight. He's a very well-rounded fighter. He actually specializes in kicks. So we'll see how he handles his or the champion David the Hammer Harris who is also another very well-rounded uh, fighter. He, he's a warrior. Uh, his last fight, it, he won the 155-pound lightweight title with a fractured orbital in the first 10 seconds of the fight. I mean, this guy, he's going to be facing an intense champion. This should be a very interesting fight. Well, if anybody is confused of what a, a fractured orbital is, it's basically a broken eye. So if you have a broken eye, eye bone in the first 10 seconds of a fight, of a title fight, and still get the belt, now you've got a you got a heart of a champion. So this is right now. It's going to be a very good fight. Definitely. Right now, we got the challenger, the Cedar Rapids Cycle, getting ready to step in the cage. Mike Smith will be the referee for this title bout. Once again, this will be a five. And we'll round go to the cage for uh, the next introduction. And 
I'm da David Harris from Knoxville, Illinois. My training for this fight has been intense. After 10 weeks after my last fight for you guys, my prediction for this fight is KO, TKO. I'm winning, period. To my opponent, I'd like to say, come on with you, come on. To my fans and supporters, I love you guys. To my sponsors, you guys are great. You guys keep me motivated. Love you guys. David the Hammer Harris coming out with the lightweight title, Extreme Cage Rental title. You know, he's from Knoxville. His last fight, he had this place going crazy. So he's got probably the most fans of the night here, and it's going to really help him and motivate him and keep him motivated throughout the fight. Definitely an entertaining fighter. This is going to be a war. We got two guys who just go at it. We got the championship on the line. Yeah, one thing he's really going to need to do tonight, uh, having a fractured overbone, is to keep his hands up. I know it's very textbook, and, and whenever you fight, it, sh it sounds obvious. Yeah, keep your hands up and move. But, you know, you forget that. You get tired, your hands drop. You take a shot to the body, your hands drop. So he's really going to have to protect that eye tonight because uh, too many more shots to that is not going to be very good for him. And we'll have to see what kind of a factor that will have. After being injured, fractured or open, like I said, it's a broken eye. You know, is that going to get to his head? Is he going to try and keep away? Is he not one to engage in the center of the ring exchanging punches? You know, to some people, it, it could change their whole game plan. Well, it's that, it's that, and you know, if you're out that long and, and you come back, you're excited, and also his opponent had better done his research and, and know about that and capitalize on that. You know, I know it doesn't sound very good, but that is a, a, a negative for the current champion, and his opponent needs to focus on that side. That's right. Now, he could he could be afraid of getting hurt again, so he could just capitalize on that or even fake to the eye and land the body shot. So there's a number of different things that he can take advantage of. We'll see if he steps up to the plate and, and uses that to his advantage. Right. Derek, the Cedar Rapids Cycle versus David the Hammer Harris. Lightweight title fight coming up next. The hammer makes his way into the ring in the black trunks, coming out of the blue corner. In the red corner, we have the challenger, Derek the Cedar Rapids Psycho. We'll go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, our co-main event of the evening is scheduled for five rounds and is for the Extreme Cage Rentals Lightweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting at the red corner. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and weighing in at 154 and one half pound. He trains with DTF MMA and is sponsored by Cage Aggression, Extreme Cage Rentals, Grand Slam Collectibles, Creations Airbrushing, Skin Worthy Tattoo, Strike Pimp, in Visage Studios and Game Bread Fightwear. Joining us from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Derek the Cedar Rapid Psycho Lover! And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighing in at 155 and 1 half. Central Illinois Combat Club and is sponsored by Dave Construction, Sparky's Auto and Custom, Mobile Audio Video, joining us from Knoxville, Illinois, your Extreme Cage Rental, Lightweight Champion, David the Hammer Hammer! Mike Smith, the referee, 
in the center of the cage. And here we go. Loffer looking to set up some jabs early and feeling out around. Harris going for the big kick to start it off. Not wasting any time in setting him, just going right for the kick. Both fighters showing some respect early and not wanting to just go right in there. That's what happens when we have title fights. In and out with the jab. Big kick landed. Kick and a jab from the champ. Missed kick from Lawford. Going high this time. Miss again. The hammer avoids getting kicked there. It's just a small step back. And now the two fighters finding the range. And Lawford's mixing it up early. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. He's keeping the champion guessing what he's going to do. Big miss from the champion, Harris. So far, they're just filling each other out. Going in and out, both of them. Starting off pretty smart. Derek steps in. Both fighters still showing some respect for each other and not wanting to overcommit to anything. Harris goes for the right and just misses. Lands with a big straight. Harris stunned him a little bit with that jab. Lands another, another, lands another corner, lands lands him big to right hand, up. gets him in the clinch, but Lawford's out. And, and, and he's not keeping his hands up. He's got a, his corner, Derek. Derek Lawford's hands are already down. Very dangerous to do against a fighter like Harris, who's current, the current champion. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, the champion's landed two big shots already and stunned him, so Lawford needs to put his hands up. As you can tell just by looking at Harris, he's got a, a, very, a good boxing background. He's got his hands up, he's got his elbows tucked in. Uh, obviously been working on a stand-up game. It's like, he's looking, it's like he's looking for the right moment to get that big shot. And you know, with hands down like Loffer has, he may find that opening sooner than later. Derek Loffer really needs to put his hands up, lands another hook shot. Ooh, big body shot from Harris. That takes some wind out. And the champion Lands another left. Starting to let loose a little bit. Connecting Big another body, body shot, shot again. You know, two of those in a row. That's got to be taking some air out. A front kick by the psycho. Nice little kick to the leg. Good first round. Good first round. Feeling each other out, but yet still giving some action. Uh, good first round. Another reminder, it is five three-minute rounds. So these guys are also thinking about how long they will be able to last. Obviously, the, the hammer is looking for a knockout. Right, and what's interesting with uh, the champions already got a welt <laughs> underneath his eye, um, maybe from a straight, you know, and that and that's and that's going to be a problem going into the later rounds. Yeah, he he was grabbing his eye as soon as he he got hit. He grabbed his eye. He didn't like it. And Derek, La Derek Lawford, the, the challenger, really needs to capitalize on that. Uh, he needs to keep his hands up, and he needs to keep his elbows in so those body shots come. They don't take away all his energy, all his wind. You can't afford to take too many more of those. The psycho getting the chance in Knoxville. In the hometown of the champion. Right. It's about split down the middle with fans. The cycle looking a little, looking a little more intense this round. Coming out real strong. Good footwork. Nice kick. His corner seems to tell him to put some more things together. Put some kicks and punches together. And he's been listening. It's up. He's not keeping his hands up like they told him from the get go. You know, and whenever that happens, it's gonna, only going to take one shot from Harris, the champion, to go over. And, and it looks like he's waiting for that shot. Yeah. Big body, big body kick again. Oh, nice nice takedown, big takedown from the challenger on top. 
smothering the challenger. In. The challenger on top, looking to looking to mount him, can't mount him. Champions up, hands down. Derek is not able to capitalize. And they both reset. On the Good takedown, take though. You know, in the eyes of the judges, take takedowns do win points. They do win rounds. So great takedown. And we'll see how that plays into this fight here. And you know, he's really mixing it up with his kicks. He's throwing low kicks. He's throwing high kicks. He caught the champion's leg, swept his leg. Big double kick. And those hurt the cycle. He you gotta like keep that. your hands up though. Even when you get big shots like that, you gotta keep your hands up. Another body shot by the champion, the Hammer Harris. Derek answers back with a couple punches of his own. No One, real two. damage behind them. Another really needs to start checking kick. those kicks because if you can't take too many of those, your leg goes numb and already he's got some redness on the, under his knee. Um, you really need to check those kicks. Superman punch doesn't get through but still gets into the clinch up against the cage. Really needs to put, get the underhooks and swing around, turn around. Now the uh, Hammer Harris needs to Champion really right capitalize on good this. Knees. You know, it's smart that Derek Lawford's got his knee up to block anything coming in. It really prevents the, the champion from doing too much. He really needs to turn it around, and they're both out. Derek shoots, he, he misses, shoots, he misses, and he's paying for it. The champion is delivering very bad ground and pound, smothering his opponent, trying to get full out, and it's reversing them both up. Great defensive job from the challenger. And he lands a knee after he gets up. The cycle. Good job at getting up. Very hard round to call. Very hard round to call if you're a judge. And Derek was listening to his corner. He said, shoot, he did it. Got caught in a bad spot, but he got right back up. He's keeping his composure. Uh, he got out of some very dangerous situations, back to his feet very quickly. Uh, that you know, and that's the main thing. When you're on your back, you don't, you can't freak out. He, these guys, it's not their first fight, so they know what they're doing. And we're going into the third round. It is a close fight. They're gonna be watching the champion's eye closely. They don't want him to get hurt. You got the doctor in there looking at it well you know it's always the fighter safety first and the fighters may not like it at the time mm -hmm. but you really gotta you really gotta make sure that everything's okay because it's just not worth it to go blind um over a fight exactly they're looking at him closely he was pointing at it but it looks like he's gonna do it again you're gonna let him continue round three uh you know this round Derek Lawford really needs to check those leg kicks because he took two very very huge kicks in the second round uh, too many of those, you you won't have a leg to walk on. So you really need to check those kicks when they come in. And it'll take us again and another. He starts kick. with the kick that was a little bit high, but still very effective and, and gets through. And it does take your power away. From no, if you don't have a lead leg to stand on, you don't have you don't have your punch anymore. So it's really like a tree. You chop it from the bottom up. Another kick. He didn't like that. Derek just made a angry face after he got kicked again. Yeah, they hurt. Those He's kicks getting hurt. punished. Both fighters knowing that another Inside kick, kick, kick to the needs same to circle knee. away from those kicks. Really, he needs to bounce in and out. And high Derek with a high kick. Right back. Uh, you know, most of the time when you throw, when the, somebody throws a kick, you answer right away. It's one for one. They don't expect another one coming. Or if you're the, on the offensive, you double up on the kicks. See, and he, he did another interesting thing. He's switching his legs up. But he could get caught off balance. Champions back up against the cage. Looking for another judo sweep. Knee to the thigh. Push off and make some space again. Very smart to push off like that and make space and kind of reset. Looking for a flurry from the champion. Maybe lands one or two. Still effective, but 
big overhand right from the challenger. Laufer really was hoping that one landed, and it did, but just not on the temple. It was like on, on the top of his head. Right. On the top of the hammer's head. Look, champion looking for that kick again. He's been successful with him before, going in for the Superman punch and eats a body shot. And, and the hammer is just looking. Harris looking going for a little bit more head movement. Really needs to protect his eye. Looking, looking at the body, body and he got it. Front kick. And you know what? The front kick's like an extension of, of, a, of another punch. It's really to keep your opponent away from you while not having to drop your hands. That's right. And, and the cycle is doing a good job at, at He's at really digging his shots into the kidneys, and you can't take too many of those. Well, he was controlling the, the opening, and, and the challenger smells blood and was going for it. I mean, that's that's what you need to do when you're the challenger. You, if you see an opening, you need to take it. And the Hammer Harris wants none of that. He and does he's not blinking. want to He's blinking, so you see his eyes are starting to swell. He's, he's rapidly him. blinking. That's never a good sign, uh, especially with a fractured orbital bone months before this. Going for the big uppercut. He got hit in that opportunity. eye again. The doctors are really going to look at that eye. Uh, whenever you see a fighter rapidly blinking like that, they, you can't see and something's going on. So they're really going to have to take a look at that eye and see if he can continue. And it's a very close fight. And back and forth. I'd have to say that round went to the cycle. He was the aggressor. He was controlling the fight. He was controlling the cage. He dictated where the fight was going to go. And there weren't that many openings. So it, whenever there's an opening, you have to capitalize on it. You have to push forward. And just push forward with your hands up. You know, yeah. don't run into it. But you need to capitalize on them. And, and that's what the challenger did. And he won the round for it. That's right. Now, early on in the round, we did see some effective short kicks by the champion, David the Hammer, Harris. I think and they were working. And I think Lawfer knows those kicks are coming now, and they're coming very hard. And now we're into the champion rounds where you're going to see some desperation kicks. You're going to see some desperation overhands looking for that knockout. Both fighters are very tired right now. You can tell by their body. And they're going to need to keep their hands up and see who wants it more. You can almost expect a kick from the champion to start off. Oh, and he gets it, kick. lands it, and takes his legs out for it. He started off every round with the kick, and that was probably his hardest one yet. Oh, nice face, front kick to the face. Front kick to the face. The cycle is angry still. And the cycle almost looks like one of those fighters that needs to get hit to wake up a little bit and fight, which is, uh, is you know, very common nowadays. And that's exactly what happened last round. The champion landed those great kicks. You could tell it in his face. Right. He got angry, and he just went at it, started punching away. He just let loose and started going after and it's a, the you champion. Know, it's, it's, watch punch. It, it's, it's very crazy to think that you know you need to get hit to be woken up a little bit. But it kind of reminds you, hey, I'm in the cage. I'm fighting another male, fighting another man. Let's do this. Let's not you know pussyfoot around and paw at each other. Let's we're fighting in front of a bunch of people, so let's get it done. They came here to fight. And the cycle, that's right. If he, if he gets another kick, he might just uh, he he needs to get going. That last kick took the challenger off his feet. So he really needs to start checking those kicks or he's going to find himself on his back again with, with the champion on top of him. Harris is really loading up on those rights now. Another nice kick. huge kick. By now the foot, the legs gotta be stiffening up. It's gotta be throbbing. And the cycle's the mad now. Punch, misses it. Still needs to keep his hands up. He's really running in recklessly now with his hands down, and he's. It may not work out for him. He's still doing a great job, looking for the overhand right. Doesn't land. Oh, took his well, leg that from leg, under him. That leg's about dead. It's then that's why he's not. He can't really plan on it. If you look at it, it's very flat now. There's no spring left to it. And in you know, it's almost the champion can kick his leg out at will now because he's done it two or three times already. And the champ lands a nice little left or right rather. Catches the kick, lands a huge uppercut. 
goes in for the clinch, going for the foot stomp. The, the foot stomp's very underrated. Is it going to win you the fight? No, but it's going to be very, very annoying. A nice punch landed there by the champion. And the cycle. Finds a Let's flurry, move. lands on those flurries. He's very staying more active than the champion. Another check kick. those kicks because his leg's not going to be able to take very much more. And we're down to the last and final round. Well, really with the champion, he's down right now. You know, the psycho is taking the rounds by staying more active, by throwing more combos. But he does need to start checking those kicks because the champion Harris has figured out your leg's dead and I can take it out whenever I want to now. That's right. And it might just come down to whoever gets his next round decisively <laughs> might just get it. Of course, whenever you're fighting a champion, you can't just win it. When, when it goes to the judges, you got to win decisively. It cannot be close. No. It can't be a close win. It's got to be very decisively. So right now what Derek ne needs to do is step it up, go for the kill. He needs to keep his hands up. If he's going to go in and push the pace, that's fine. But he needs to keep his hands up and not go in recklessly. He has got this fight one going into the fifth round. But it's MMA. It can be over in one punch. And he cannot afford to get kicked no, on that he needs leg to check. anymore. Good sign of sportsmanship from both fighters. Touch and, and we'll see if he starts. Time. The champ starts with another kick. No. No, he goes in for a one-two and lands. And a challenger throwing a kick of his own. It's almost like Harris is waiting, waiting for that one shot, big opening, lands on a hook, lands oh, another barely, hook. Barely grazed. He's picking his landed. shots and he's picking them well. But the psycho is, is doing just that. He's going psycho with his flurries. But you know, the, the champ might just run out of time. This is the last round. He's got to go for that big punch. And it seems like Derek's doing a good job at taking the punishment whenever the champion and lands it, a punch. And it's almost like Lawford has gotten more energy as the fight's gone on. His, his cardio tank is good, and he's picked it up each round, kept very active, but still needs to watch that kick, that heavy, heavy kick from Harris. And there it is. We've seen it throughout the whole fight. Clinch, and clinch doesn't last very long. They're out. You know, something that Lawford was doing early was he was throwing some high kicks, and there's one right there. He needs to start mixing it up a little bit. Uh, he threw, has success with it early, uh, and, and honestly, his opponent doesn't know they're coming. Another devastating kick from the, the he champion. He needs to throw another hammer. high kick. Oh, and there and he, he is does again. It again. That's Got to check those. And got to stay out of that. And it gets another a cycle third. going. Derek needs that to get going. He's got to be careful with those kicks. Once again... Oh. Goes to each one. Takes down. Gets him up and takes him out. A huge takedown. Gotta be careful he doesn't get caught in the guillotine. Right now, Derek Lawford just needs to calm down. He's got this fight and he cannot get caught in anything. He's to stay busy and not and make sure that he's got his arms in and doesn't leave one out. Big uppercut. It looks as though the champion may have broken his pinky on that last exchange. He hurt his finger. Takes a big left. Derek, Derek Lawford needs not to run in and keep his hands down. He's almost got this. He's got to get out of the way Another of that kick. Devastating kick. He's going to feel that in the morning. Well, if he's feeling it. He's, gonna he's feel feeling it, it right now. And another one. The champion just... Chopping him Ten down. seconds. This is where you really throw everything on the line. You mm -hmm. really go for it and get everything you got when you're this close. What a great fight. Great, great Very fight. well done. The that champion. one really came down to uh, Derek Lawford mixing it up. Kicks, punches. Uh, he got 
got more psycho as the fight went on. Yes, he did. And you could tell after the second round, uh, after the champion, David the Hammer, w was hurt. Once he had that, th that little spot in his eye, that it changed his demeanor. He was very defensive. He wasn't going after the challenger. He pretty much stayed in his side of the cage, just defending. But he was effective in landing some good punches. And, and the kicks, the kicks were devastating. He took him out three different occasions. At least not three four. times. Uh, big With heavy kicks. kicks. But, you know, when he took him out, he didn't capitalize on it. He kicked him and, and almost he let him up. You really needed to pounce on top of him. Uh, being the head, being the bigger of the two, he, he could have maybe made that work for himself. But here he we was, go to the decision. He want, he was playing it safe. Mike Smith with the two fighters waiting for the judges' scorecards to be tabulated. As Mike Goodwin makes his way into the ring with the championship belt. Will it be David the Hammer retaining his championship or do you think Derek the Cedar Rapids cycle had enough to take it? Well, we'll see. Great co-main event. Great co-main event. It goes to show, if you're trying to win, take the championship away, you got to win decisively. Don't leave it in the judge's hand. You got to do not leave it in the judge's hands. That's right. You got to win decisively. Derek it Loffer, can't be a, a close fight. It cannot be like that. Derek Lawford will go home and learn a lot from this fight. He put a very hard, he put a very hard fight in and Judging from the reaction from the fans, uh, I feel, they feel like he won the fight. But David Harris retains it. To be the champion, you have to beat the champion. Or, um, you know, that, that will be two websites. 
Uh, you can check me out on most of the rankings online throughout the Midwest. Uh, you can contact me anyway. All right, well, thanks a lot, Derek. Looking forward to seeing you again, man. Goodbye, buddy. There you have it, Derek Lawford demanding his rematch. Feels like he got robbed because it was in in his opponent's hometown, and he need he needs that rematch.